Hey guys, Ranger 47 here. I got another video for you guys. It is the Mount and Blade Mod Napoleonic Wars. Now, I've only been get, playing this game for a couple months here, and it's not too bad. I kind of enjoy it. Now, this map is a custom map <clears throat> between I believe it's the British Empire and the Prussians. It's a siege map with about 100 people on it. Now, I kind of like the physics of this game. It looks pretty good. Um, graphics ain't too bad. Um, the gameplay is not too bad at all. I definitely like the mod more than the actual game itself. Um, I know a lot of people play or and and are on the mod more than the regular Mountain Blade regular version. As you can see here, they have a base. It's elevated above the ground. It's pretty highly defended. For some reason, we just cannot penetrate it for the whole entire round and for a good chunk of the other round. Right here, you could see me try to shoot one of these guys, but I epically fail, dying and respawning. Um, it's approximately about 60 versus 60. You can see all my troops right here, ready to go. Um, this is a new round starting, so. You can see this little guy with his spear running around here behind me. Oh, there he is. I kind of like those players. They just really don't care, and they just charge in. But, um, yeah. O o overall, this game is not too bad at all. They have a bunch of maps that are even crazier than this, and they look, and they're a lot of fun, really. Um, they have, like, a couple desert maps. They have castle ones where you have to, like fight your way up different levels of the castle and it's just a lot of fun really um right here I think you're gonna be seeing me die again yeah I'm pretty sure try to shoot one of these guys epically fail I mean it's, pre it's pretty realistic to overall in the whole game like you get shot once, you're pretty much dead. The the reload times on the muskets are really realistic. Like it takes a good 30 seconds to reload. I kind of like that. Um, the map right now, I think the host called it Castle Defend Mini Siege with around 120 players on the map. I mean, if you like first person shooters, um, with musket gameplay, I would definitely recommend this game. Now, later in the video, you're going to see me go into first, per um, first person from third person, which is definitely really cool. Right here, you're seeing me, um, someone put me actually in the river. I'm drowning. You can see my health bar going down. And... I eventually make it out. I honestly don't know why everybody doesn't just charge in. I think they're really scary. Like, half of our team is, like, staying back, and the other half is, like, actually slowly moving forward. So, a couple minutes here, you're going to see um, a squad of uh, the British guys try to like flank around these questions into the back of their base and try to um, surprise them. So, right here I'm, on a, I'm out of ammo and I forget which key is um, the action key to equip. I finally got my cartridges and I get out of there. That was pretty funny, I thought I was going to die, so...
Yep, so this is what first person looks like. Really realistic, I really like it. Um, definitely harder to fight with the first person, I think, especially in melee. Um, so I definitely prefer a third. Right here, everybody just chilling in the courtyard, sitting ducks. For the guys on the roof, I mean, they're just poking their heads out and shooting away.